Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Tom Kitchen with my buddy Anthony Critchfield from Critchfield Meats. And we're talking, you know, a big weekend for you guys, I'm sure. Memorial Day Memorial weekend Day. when you've got all the barbecues and backyard Burgers, shindigs and lake parties and everything Your else. whole pig. We'll get those for oh you, Oh, my gosh. We've been talking about doing that for <laughs> my neighbors. We're going to have to do that for sure. And we'll have to show everybody oh, how, how you do that. That would be so yeah. fun to do, getting a whole pig. And, and my, I wish I brought one now. My husband's from, uh, family's from the Carolinas, so he okay. calls it a pig picking. And sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, all kinds of fun stuff. But, yeah, that would be really good. Good to know that you guys yeah, do that uh, for sure. But we're talking burgers. Burgers. Right, because that is the best thing for a backyard barbecue. Certainly, um, you guys have a lot of different ground beef options. You actually have Kentucky ground beef, am I right? We do have Kentucky yeah. ground beef. Um, uh, we also have well, what we carry is from Iowa. What we grind in house is from Iowa. All of our all of our meat that we have in the case. We grind every day, fresh every day. Fantastic. This is our 80-20. This is our ground beef. Yeah, okay. So we're going to patty this up. We're going to patty this. We've got this, a hot grill ready to yep. go. This is a, You a, just like to do salt and pepper, right? Salt Let and the pepper. flavor of the meat stand on maybe its own. Some, maybe some garlic powder or onion powder if you have it. Right. And then you guys have some other interesting burger options, though. We, yes. <laughs> you were uh, just informing me. We make a, uh, it's called a bacon burger blend. A what? Bacon burger blend. Say it one more time. Bacon burger blend. <laughs> and that oh, is, my gosh. It is 50% bacon and 50% sirloin ground together. And that's in the burger. In the burger. Bacon is in the burger. Oh my gosh. You probably talk about of, a good burger. Oh, probably one of my favorites. You know, my dad's favorite of yours is when we get that uh, tenderloin and we grind it up. Oh, yeah, and that makes a great burger. <laughs> and, and, that, and, and what's in our ground beef is tenderloin chain and, and, and ribeye rib rib trimming. Do you hear scraps up in there? Um, it's a perfect fat content, right? So you want a yes. good fat content when you're talking about a burger. Um, all right, so these are going to sear up. Um, I particularly like a medium burger, but I noticed how you kind of patted them a little thinner, and right. that's just going to help it cook a little bit Correct. more evenly. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to talk about toppings. You know, you could go cheese. You could go a lot of different ways a lot with of your different burger. Ways. Um, but you had a little melted butter here. You also yeah. like I to like do what this, with your... I like to uh, just kind of put a little bit of melted butter on my buns and throw them right on the grill. Or if you have a cast iron or a flat top inside, or mm -hmm. if you're doing this inside, you can yeah. definitely do so. And then another thing, every Friday in the summer, you guys have what's called your cookouts. Our cookouts from Yeah, a, if you guys are looking for two. a really good lunch spot, go to Critchfield's on Fridays and their outdoor cookout. You can get ribeye sandwiches, hamburgers, hamburgers hot, hot dogs, dogs, the bacon burger, which we like to put beer ah. cheese on. It's excellent. All right, we're gonna finish these burgers up on this grill. We're gonna show you our ultimate burger. We're taking these burgers off yep. the grill, throw a little cheese on them. Um, so you buttered the, uh, buttered, the, buttered, the buttered the bread, say that five bread. times fast. Buttered the bread, buttered the um, kind of grilled that off. I think that's a perfect um, extra. I think it gives it a little little extra crunch, <laughs> yeah, a little just extra, extra flavor, flavor, extra texture. That's really you can just, hot. <laughs> you can sit that right there. All right, so we're just going to kind of layer this up. You know, you got your tomato, your lettuce, your onion. Um, I'll just throw a whole pickle right sure. up on there. Um, you can take a burger a thousand different ways. I got a little fried egg Say action. It with the kitchen sink, right? Right. Avocado, <laughs> you name it. I've got a little of my favorite because this is my burger. Is that a sriracha? It is this chipotle, chipotle. mayonnaise. Oh. Yeah, we make it here in house too. So, I mean, you just get that and you just go. I should to have town. brought in some. We we make our own beer cheese in house. Oh and yeah. And I like putting beer cheese on my burger. Nice. It is excellent. You know where to find Anthony. You can go over to Critchfield Meats, get you some great ground beef. You, they've got Kentucky Proud, and they ground everything in-house. I'm telling you, this stuff is so great. And if Thanks. you don't even feel like cooking a burger, just go to their Friday cookouts and let them do all the work for you. We'll do it. All right, you guys are watching Midday Kentucky. I'm Chef Allison Davis, Anthony Critchfield. Yeah.
We'll be right back after this short break.